Okay, I am back and I'm ready to continue. Hey girl, how you doing? I just met you and this is crazy. But here's my number, so call me maybe? Or we're just gonna fight and have our animal friends kick each other's asses. On the way. First step is Nidoran. This Nidoran is a female Nidoran. And for some strange reason, Nidoran has two different colors, and yet uh, two different colors are not represented as shinies, but rather representations of what gender it is. So a uh, blue Nidoran is a uh, female, and the pinkish reddish one is, well, it's male. Why is this exactly? I don't know. I wonder what a shiny one is like. Is it, like, yellow? Maybe. I have no freaking idea. I know a shiny Rattata is, like, goldish-yellowish. But, hey, what can you do? A shiny Swarya, they're supposed to be shiny. They, they, they sparkle. They go shishing, sparkle, sparkle. We'll be black. I'm not speaking English anymore. Nina ran down, hundred experience. Thank you and good night. You damn right, woman. You damn right. Sure. Okay. Let's share our numbers. Now it's time for me to get the second base. Won't that be fun? Just kidding. There's someone else that's already on Silver's mind. But hey, at least we got a free repel out of all of our hard work. Wanna know what's down here? Well, trainer number three is here. And there's also an item off the corner of my eye. What's inside? Only one way to find out, and that is to get around Camper Roland. And here is the feet now, the male variant of the Nidoran. Again, it's not considered a shiny for some strange reason. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, I have figured out what Foresight does. It helps identify ghost Pokemon and also helps uh, other Pokemon hit the target that are incredibly evasive. If you can catch, catch my draft. But whatever. Deed is done. Level 13 Hutu. Well done, buddy. Who wants to learn to move up roar? And let's see what we can get rid of. You know what? Bye bye, Foresight. And there we go. Uproar is learned. Yes, it is. Quite disappointing for you. Not for me. Alright, time to rearrange my team just a smidge. Yeah, that sounds good. Chikorita can take the lead for a while. It hasn't been able to really do much fighting due to the fact that I've been concentrating on fighting other Pokemon and also the gym. Oh, by the way, Ekans have a huge tendency to intimidate your Pokemon and thus cut their attack power by at least one stage, I think. I think that's how it works. It usually occurs at the very beginning of battle. So, yeah, there's that, and I'll be right back short. Blech. I'll be right back. Whew. Well, that battle was rather annoying to say the least, but not that much. Also got a Great Ball. What is a Great Ball exactly? Well, it's an upgraded version of a Pokeball, and it's used for capturing more powerful Pokemon. Speaking of which, here is a Mary. We haven't seen a Mary on camera, so let's go ahead and fight it. Mary is a rather annoying Pokemon to deal with because anytime you would deal physical attacks towards it, there's a high chance that uh, the Pokemon who's attacking it will get paralyzed due to the static shock that's stored within Mary's womb. 
Ooh, crit. Gotta love them crits. <coughs> so, yeah, there's Mary. And another item right down here. There we go. TM9. Bullet Seed. Speaking of TMs, I haven't used mine yet. Well, damn. Alright, let's go pull them up. And I want to actually use some of my TMs. First, let's boot up Roost and go ahead and uh, use this. Give this to Pidgey because I like it. I like it on Pidgey. And it works very well for Pidgey. Here's Flash. And I'm going to teach this to Beedrill because it makes sense. Alright, let's see what to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of String Shot. String Shot hasn't really been that useful for me anyway, so I don't really care. There we go, learn Flash. What does Flash do exactly? Outside of battle, it'll illuminate dark caves. But uh, during battles, it'll lower an opponent's Pokemon's accuracy. Oh really, kid? Let's put that to the test then. Let's have some fun! What do you got? It's a whooper! Whoop the frickin' do! I don't know very much of whooper, except it looks like a tadpole. I think that's what it's based off of. And wow, Chikorita, way to do work! So apparently in Generation 2, grass types are not only super effective against uh, rock type Pokemon, or stones, whatever, I don't freaking care. But either way, rock types, they're super effective against them. And also, they're super effective against water types now. How exactly? I have no idea. But that's the way it is. Alright. Looks like this fisherman has a goldine. Chikorita, do your thing. Bye-bye. There you go. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Way to freaking go. And level 13. Maybe in two more levels you'll level up. You'll uh, evolve. Who knows? Yes, you did. Big time. Kind of like me. Um, sure, okay. Yeah, that's very true. It's always nice to have friends. Oh, cool. Alrighty. Let's see what you got. First Pokemon he has is a Poliwag. Poliwag is, once again, like Whooper, it too is a tadpole. So, uh, anyways, Poliwag I know is a Generation 1 Pokemon. I don't know very much about it other than the fact that it's just there. And it does things. I don't dive too much into the Pokemon lore, knowing stats and such and such. Okay, let's switch things up and, uh, yeah, time to make a cut. Well, more or less, it's time to take this stupid thing down. Like, now. There we go. Way to do work, Beedrill. And that's that. Splash? <laughs> what do you work for that one guy who goes splash and kaboom? No, seriously, do you really work for that guy? If that's the case, then that's just that's just really weird. Oh, sorry about that. What are you gonna do? Take out your aggression on me? That's a yes. Alright, what you got? First is a magic card. Well, anyways, there's not much to say about magic card other than the fact that it's quite an infamous Pokemon. Many people consider magic card useless in many 
many aspects. Reason is because when you first catch it, it only knows Splash, and Splash does absolutely nothing. I know, I've actually used one. Speaking of the devil, here comes another one. That was a doozy, but thankfully that magic car pack kicked the bucket. And here comes another one. Great. Alright! One attack KO! Way to go! 21 XP. Next up, Magikarp again? Really? You have nothing but Magikarps? There we go. Nail in the coffin. Call it a day. This match is over. All right, buddy. You're right. Wanna know what's up on the rest of that boardwalk? Nothing much, just another way to get back. Also, let's talk to you. Tasty, nutritious, slow poke tail. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? It costs about as much as a Bicycle back in Pokemon Red. Are you kidding me? There is no way in hell I can afford something like that. Um, sure. Okay, I'll take one of your rods. Ah, okay. So it kind of reminds me a bit of the Legend of Zelda fishing mini games. Ah, thank you. Thank you for the advice. I might go ahead and give it a try. And yeah, there you go. Please heal my team, and then we'll try to go. We'll try to go fishing. Since I finished stretching, that feels so good. So. Yeah, I kind of knew that guy would get me a fishing rod because as I stated before... Uh, register. Thank you. So, registering items is incredibly useful because if you register an item, you can just uh, assign it a shortcut and just push a button to use said item. Oh man, not even a nibble. That's lame. How about a Gibble? That would be great. I don't think Gibble is even in Generation 2. Maybe it's in Generation 3? I don't remember. Okay, come on. Give me a fish. Ah, there we go. Finally! Caught something. And it is... A magic card. Well, damn it. Whatever, I'm just gonna catch it and add it to my archive. Alright, call ourselves a magic card. Unfortunately, this one only knows Splash, and that is freaking lame. But hey, eventually it will evolve into Gyarados and it will become a very valuable asset. However, if you want to train with it in order to, for it to gain some levels and such, you're going to have to have at least two Pokemon on your team. So Magikarp can use Splash and then instantly switch out to another Pokemon and have it finish the job. 
it's gonna be doing this for quite some time due to the fact that well splash does absolutely nothing I know I've actually tried using it besides there are more useful Pokemon that I can catch and use right now anyhow let's boot up someone's PC deposit and there you go, deposit magic carp, at least for now. I may try to level it up off, off screen, at least to the point that it can actually do something, such as tackle an opponent. Anything, really, so we can actually solo some fights. Yes, I did, I did beat Faulkner. Watch as uh, watch and be amazed as I get murdered by a freaking pigeon. KK. Oh, sweet merciful Jesus. That took way too long. All because of the whole freaking, uh, the whole sand attack spam. I mean, really, it spammed it like there was no tomorrow. God damn. Again, too long, but thankfully Vidro was able to do most of the work. Alright, next up is a Pidgey. Alright, way to go Pidgey, way to do work. And that's the end of Peter. Uh, wow, that was painful. Again, this is due to the frickin' sand attack spam. Spam it until I can't even hit my target at all. It's a valid strategy, yes, but it's a very annoying one. And I personally think that's a bit cowardly. It's like, if you really want to lower your Pokemon's accuracy, the enemy Pokemon's accuracy, then that just simply means you can't take them, and you are simply not a man. Well, Union Cave, this is quite an interesting place. The reason why I say this is an interesting place is because this, unlike some other caves, this place is actually lit. X attack. What does that do exactly? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, sweet Jesus. Whew, level 13. Hmm, wants to learn to move focus energy. Eh, keep old moves. Yes, give up on focus energy. Reason? Don't need it. Also, hey Joey, what is it? Oh, that's all right, Joey. You'll catch it eventually. Really? Unless it's a shiny, then that's pretty much a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that you're not going to get ever again within your lifetime. Because shiny appearances, I think they... It's a 1% catch rate, maybe. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? All right, Fire Breather Ray. Oh my, it has a Vulpix. Vulpix I really don't know much about, other than the fact that it's a fire type and it's of the dog species of sorts. Eventually, Vulpix will evolve into Ninetales, but thankfully it's not a Jinjuriki of any kind. Ninetales is the name of a Pokemon, at least in this this universe and it's not some giant mystical base that ro runs around and trying to destroy villages hidden in leaves catch my drift good yes go ahead and flash me I don't care I'm a man I can take flashes all day every day 